this style of video before and I've been wanting to do one for a while. I remember watching, I think, a couple of people do it a handful of months ago, so I'm kind of late to the party, but I thought it was always a cool idea and I really don't have really any other better ideas. It seems like a lot of you guys want to see some normal, traditional ASMR content on the channel, so I thought it'd be kind of a fun idea, fun idea, fun idea to do a Zillow walkthrough video. Yeah, I thought it'd be kind of cool just to walk through some really fancy homes, look at their 3D little tours, if you've seen them before on websites like Zillow, apartments.com, different websites like that we can talk about, and maybe even look into some mansions, millions and millions of dollars of penthouses, and maybe even some sport athlete homes. I think that could be kind of a fun thing we could do if we continue this as a series. So if you like this idea, definitely let me know by liking, 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 liking the video. Maybe commenting down below if you do enjoy this style of video, want more, want something different, make sure to leave your ASMR video ideas down below in the comments and I guess how you think about these prices of these homes and if they're nice or not. Uh, I think today we're just going to be focusing on the U.S. I think I'm just going to do actually tonight uh, Portland ones, which could be kind of interesting. I don't know how fancy houses can really be here in Portland. I know it's really uh, expensive to get a house here in Portland nowadays, but obviously I don't know how extravagant they get. But here we are. And what's really cool is that you can actually uh, do filters, obviously. So obviously we want to look for uh, for sale things. Uh, we'll do a listing price. And as you can see from the bar here, you can go from as low as $50,000, which not sure what you can really get for that much. And you can go and go and go and go and go and go and go all the way to $20 million. Yes, a home for $20 million. Which, obviously in this video, we're looking for expensive houses and homes, apartments, condos. So let's actually go anywhere from, let's do 10 million to 20 million dollar homes, which, my god, could be pretty crazy to see. You can do a number of bedrooms, bathrooms here. You can actually check off the home types, which, I think apartments, uh, maybe condos could be there. I don't think any... Lots of land, but town home, townhomes. That might be a pretty great looking townhome, but we really want to look at houses for sure. Um, let's see here. Oh, and you can also look at 3D doors only, which is what we want to look at. We want to take a look into these homes and really get a good look and feel about what they have to offer, which is kind of cool. You have like maximum square feet. You're built. Have a basement. Um, views on the specific uh, paging of the homes and you can also go to like monthly payments so if you're looking for obviously homes with a certain amount of monthly payments you can look at that as well oh for some reason it reset or uh, sadly they actually have no 3d doors for this area for that amount of money how about this uh, we'll just look at the most expensive <laughs> homes that they have and we'll take a look at those and they have two homes only in this area worth over million, million, million dollars, which maybe, maybe, maybe one day we'll have here on the Jake Baller ASMR channel. I honestly don't know how people get that much money. Like, how do you even get that much? Like, bro, I'm struggling just, I don't know, living day by day. I could imagine having that much money, but yeah, we have two homes. Um, this first home uh, in Lake Oswego, which if you're not from the Pacific Northwest area, is like the richer area side of Portland. Um, it's really nice. A lot of nice houses. I think a lot of like the NBA players like, you know, Damian Lillard and blah, 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 I think live in this area. I think, I think they do. Let's take a look at the first home. Let's actually take a look at the home that's worth the less. So they're both worth the same amount, which is kind of cool. This room, uh, sorry, this house actually has a walkthrough video, so maybe we'll check that out. But yes, this house is worth $11.5 million, and it looks absolutely insane. Five bedrooms, nine baths, 13,462 square feet. Absolutely insane. Wow. Now, taking a look at this home at first glance is insane it looks like it's on a waterfront a waterfront maybe on a lake or river some big body of water here 
which is kind of interesting, more of a modern Stone Age style of home, which is kind of cool. It looks like they have uh, some sort of like place to like garage your boats. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like some sort of like entrance, like the Bat Cave. It looks like <laughs> that's kind of cool. Maybe you can store some jet skis or boats in there. Uh, some yardage as well, some canoes, and yeah, you're right on the water, which all looks really cool. You have another picture here of just, it looks like the uh, patio as well. You could definitely see, obviously, in the Pacific Northwest, people buying homes want the best sort of environment to be around, and this is like their big selling point. It looks like that, hey guys, look at where you're living, and yes, it looks like it is on a lake. Maybe a river, most likely a lake. That's really cool. Now, that's other really another really thing, cool thing about Zillow is that you for even some homes that don't have the three D aspect of going in the home, a lot of these homes actually still have their uh, like Apple, you know, maps view available, so you can actually still take a look around uh, the house, which is kind of cool. You just can't look obviously into the house, but they have a little cool walkway entry, I guess, for if you're just walking into your home. And, of course, they have a nice big, whoa, there's a guy running there, <laughs> a nice big gate uh, at the start of the home, which is uh, really, really dope. Obviously, like, again, like a castle type of garage door there with a very beautiful Stone Age modern looking house. And here is the golf putt putt course, it looks like. It's obviously not like a big golf thing, but obviously to pa uh, the practice your putting in golf is kind of cool. Maybe your your long putts, something like that. <laughs> I'm not too much into golf, so don't judge me on that, but that is pretty cool. They have a little ladder there as well. If you, if you want to take a little dip into the, the lake, you have a way to get in and out. And um, maybe they have, I don't know, a way to be or go fishing. That could be also really cool. Oh, and obviously, yes, of course, a house that is worth this much definitely has a pool and a hot tub. It almost looks like it's some sort of style of a infinity pool, which if you don't know what an infinity pool is, it's just a pool that doesn't have, like, a clear edge. It's more of like, you know, if you're sitting in the pool, it looks like the water continues on with the body of water on the outside of it. You see it a lot with the ocean. It looks like they have one here with the lake, which is really, really nice. And looks like the other section is... The hot tub. Love that one. This is inside the, uh, the bat cave, it looks like. I really like that as well. And just like that, it looks like you're inside the, uh, the foyer. I think that's what that's called, the fancy word for, like, the first room of a house. It's not really the living room, which a lot of homes usually enter into if you're a normal human being. But, uh, this home looks really cool. It's definitely giving like rich dad vibes, like rich, you know, golfing dad vibes, sporty guy type of vibes, probably has a man cave, maybe like a movie theater in here, just the vibe it's giving, but it's still really nice, I love the piano, and this, uh, is it, I, I forget what this room is called, it's not called, again, it's not the living room, it's like the, it's, it's, is that like the grand room, or whatever, that, again, that, it's not the room that you, it's like that room that you have, like when you have Christmases, or the room you have when you where you put up the Christmas tree, but it's not the living room, it's that other room that you sometimes use when company's over, but not all the time. Anyways, it's that room, really nice. Looks like you have the kitchen diner, uh, sorry, the kitchen table. Um, it looks like this might be a, a pantry, or maybe even the kitchen, it looks like it's just like a big pantry, maybe. Uh, this looks more of like the general hangout spot. Another look at the pool. Another look at the pool. We have another dining room table area. And this is definitely the kitchen. And wow, this place looks amazing. Like a dream. I know, I, I, I don't want it to seem like I was clowning on, you know, it's giving, you know, rich dad vibes. I want to live here. I want to live here. This place is like a dream home, obviously. It looks amazing. They obviously have a really cool, like, a business office for taking Zoom calls or just doing regular table desk work business. It definitely looks really cool with the nice uh, view of the lake as well. Uh, oh, and of course, a very fancy house isn't a fancy house unless it has an elevator. So this house does come with um, <laughs> an elevator. That is honestly really crazy. A couple looks at the bedrooms, 
as well, like a, you know what I call this, like a bed, but a place to lay down, soak up the sun that only comes out about three months out of the entire year, year in the Pacific Northwest, and a beautiful outdoor uh, camp, uh, I almost said campfire, but you know, a fire pit, that's what they call a fire pit, which also looks really dope. Now, of course, this house is worth $11.5 million, but it is actually estimated around $75,000 per month. So it's only if you can make $75,000 a month, you can maybe set down a down payment and afford this home. You have to be pre-qualified, it seems, <laughs> which is crazy. The house was built in 2008 as well, and it just has a lot of really cool, you know, things to look at when taking a look at this at this home. This home actually has almost 9,000 views and 400 saves, so a lot of people are looking at this home. Doubt it's going to be bought anytime soon, but, uh, you know, a lot of casuals like us might like this home, but can't afford it. But shout out to the, this home. I haven't said this homeowner, but it's for sale, so no one lives here, so obviously I, I don't care about, like, seeing the address. I mean, you can buy this house if you want to buy this house. Tell them Jake Baller sent you. Look into uh, another home, another home, another home. Well, the only other one here important that's worth a little change. Nine bedrooms, 11 baths, 19,444 square footage of some big, big, big building here. This looks like, uh, it's giving, uh, Italian, Tuscan, of home vibe out in the wilderness, nice little, like a, like a, a vineyard type of vibe, at least what it's giving me, looks pretty cool, it also has a huge, huge, huge gate to even enter into this home, which does make a lot of sense with a lot of trees in the way, and a beautiful, beautiful looking bridge that a troll looks like they should be living under, <laughs> maybe it leads to like a really nice garden, or maybe it is a vineyard, who knows. <laughs> Oh, and would you look at that? Some imported palm trees, it seems. These are palm trees, right? They look like palm trees. <laughs> definitely do not get those from Portland. Those are definitely planted there, shipped here from somewhere. But oh my goodness, this place is definitely a lot more elegant. A little bit less of a homey vibe in this home. Obviously because you have uh, nights in this home. Yes, you buy this home, you get nights, which is a very cliche thing that's in like all of like the spooky ghosty cartoon shows. <laughs> Those are pretty sick looking actually. Another very beautiful looking grand room. I forget what this room is called, <laughs> but uh, that's a vibe. That would be a very nice area to have a nice little Christmas tree present opening get together. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, you have like the formal dining area, you have the kitchen with another sort of like area to eat at as well. You have a place where people can sit and watch, oh, yeah, sit and watch TV. That is a TV, I thought that was just a painting. But the kitchen is kind of lackluster. You only have, uh, like it looks like one stove, one oven. Um, I, oh, actually there's two ovens back there and then just one stove top, which we think for a home this expensive you'd have a multiple, which I know a lot of homes usually do have that kind of a lackluster kitchen not liking this one. Uh, the bathroom is definitely looking like a room at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, or maybe a room at the Bellagio. <laughs> These, uh, rooms look absolutely insane. The only thing I hate about this so far, curtains. I think expensive bathrooms. I don't think of a curtain in that bathroom. I like, uh, very expensive bathrooms that have, like, those big windowed doors that shut and open. Curtains. Come on. Whoa! What kind of room is, is this? Like a kid's room or like a kid's play area? It looks like a room inside, like some sort of like theme park. That looks crazy. That is so cool, actually. Okay, this is worth eleven million dollars. That would be amazing to have as like a little five, six-year-old kid running around there. That would be really cool. I don't know why there's like a random sink and like kitchen, like cabinets in that area though, but wow. 
Now that is a vibe. That is a fact of vibe. You have a couple of other rooms. It looks like this is like their formal office, which it's giving um, Dracula. It's giving, uh, I don't know, medieval times type of castle. Very interesting if you like that vibe. Not mine. I think I do like that other house a little bit more still. You obviously have like a couple other rooms, like another sort of like, uh, you know, bros, man cave, bar, drinking area where you probably, it's probably like a, a cigar room. I know some rich people have a cigar room. That looks like what that room was. The gym uh, looks very sad. Um, and that was sort of like get together bar area. Okay, this movie theater parlor room looks insane. I've never seen one that looks like this ever in my life, but I don't like it. I, I, you think of a movie theater, you think of a dark room, you don't think of like a whatever that was. That's pretty insane, but the rooms look gigantic. Closets are huge. And of course, you're paying that much, you're getting a pool in the back of the house with a, you know, uh, everything there that you need barbecue and grill shade to sit at and also on some sort of like lake or river this is going for again 11.5 million or by month seventy four thousand four hundred and sixty four dollars per month if you can afford that go for it i guess this was actually built in 1996 and uh some information on it put on zillow two months ago has 14,000 views and 622 saves this place is quite popular and it looks like it should be because man this place actually looks insane I, I didn't know they had places like this in or around Portland but yeah those are some of the homes that we have around here but I think it'd be kind of cool to take a look at a 3d house maybe take a tour inside of a house just whatever I can find okay so I actually didn't have any homes that were extravagant enough to hit the over 10 million dollar mark here in the pacific northwest i know so cheap we had to lower our expectations down for a 3d tour of a home to a lousy six million dollars no that's crazy that's really cool also obviously in the same sort of area as the other homes four bedrooms six baths eight thousand square feet yes a six million dollar home with only four bedrooms is kind of insane not gonna lie this home kind of reminds me of the first home that we took a look at sort of the same you know stony vibes and also on the river which is kind of cool this one looks like it's just right off the main road but still very beautiful it does have a little bit more of a homey looking vibe you even have a little uh, basketball shooting area you can hang out with with the neighbors, which is really cool. But yeah, just a normal homey vibe of a house. And here we have the 3D door, which we'll get into very quickly after we take a look at some of the pictures they have. While well, that staircase is very linear, but I'm maybe assuming this is like the opening to the house, which is just a, again to sort of be not living room, living room area, um, which looks very homey. Definitely does not match how the outside looks of this home. Definitely like the first home. More homey. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the full kitchen. I'm hoping it's not. Again, if you're paying $6 million for a home and this is just the entire kitchen, I would hope there would be some extra stuff in there, but it looks like it is. Actually, that oven does look pretty crazy, not gonna lie. That looks like a very heavy-duty oven that looks like I cook a couple of meals at once, but I don't ever think of a very expensive kitchen. I think of like a huge area. Like I think the kitchen should be bigger than like the area you eat in. <laughs> At least that's what I think when I think of very expensive kitchens. Okay, this one isn't as nice as a 3D door. Some of the other homes you kind of have to just sit in the area it gives you and then you have to just click on the area you want to go into. Maybe I can't just like tap forward. Can I? Nope. Okay, I have to click it. Okay, well that's kind of lame. I can't really like move around some of these you can just like click and you'll just like shift and move around so I can actually take a look but this one is just more of like a 3d model anyways very nice welcoming home and whoa okay so this is where you enter into the home which 
which in my opinion kind of lame you kind of enter in it looks like they're like the side of the home you're not really introduced to the home in like a big grand area it's very small and linear you can see there's a downstairs area that you can go into which is actually kind of interesting and that is the main area we already saw that is the hallway which i'm assuming that leads into the kitchen i'm very interested to see what happens when you go down this little hallway stair area which we just went downstairs okay so that you go down that stairway and it looks like you have a wine cellar to the left which looks absolutely insane i never really got the vibe of having a wine cellar but i guess you can kind of use it again as like a cigar room a drinking area a casual area just to keep all of the bevs the bevs the bevs i never really knew anyone really actually hangs out in there really but maybe they do back in that same hallway oh i actually just realized this place also has an elevator but you're also just inside the indoor pool area which man that is super super fire this is like one of those long lengthy ones that you can do a lot of swimming 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 workouts and it looks like i've seen those in movies all the time and it looks like you have a media room aka the movie theater which just has a couple of seats and looks very interesting it's nice obviously i would love to have it but for that much money this is uh looks like it needs to be redone it looks like it hasn't been touched since like 1995 looks kind of old but still really cool and another family room area a uh, place that you can again serve some food some drinks looks kind of fire sitting out here on the uh on the pool side and going to take a look outside of the house also looks pretty cool with the uh the hot tub then you can go upstairs and another beautiful look at the pacific northwest uh, very very cloudy cloudy area but you know nothing too wild of a house now this home actually goes for sale for again six million dollars but unlike the other homes per month thirty nine thousand and sixty two dollars per month so if you can if you can afford just wasting away thirty nine thousand dollars a month this home could be yours but also interesting fact here this house is even more on sale by a price cut of one hundred dollars so hey it's going down as we speak so get it while it's hot i honestly don't know how well this video is gonna do I've, i haven't seen people do this that often anymore i'm probably too late to whatever's going on but if you're watching this video please 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 leave a like on tonight's video um it really make my day if you did i would love to do more of these videos because it's a lot of fun i love um you know daydreaming about stuff like this like what if i won the lottery big houses things i would do with that style of money i love like daydreaming about stuff like that like dream vacations things like that so i would love to do more because obviously if you're trying to fall asleep you don't you don't want to fall asleep thinking about boring stuff you want to fall asleep maybe to the imagination of finding a dream home it could be kind of fun i don't know uh comment down below any other asmr video ideas that you have make sure you of course subscribe to the channel and yeah i love you love you love you love you love you love you and i'll see you again in another video very 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 soon all right